MiG-41, the epitome of aerial excellence. The prospective long-range interceptor aircraft complex program in Russia is developing the MiG-41, a project for a fifth-generation fighter interceptor. It is being developed by MiG Aircraft Company under the auspices of the United Aircraft Corporation. The MiG-41, designed as a successor to the MiG-31 fighter interceptor which entered service in 1981 and first flew in 1975, aims to serve as a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system. Tasked with intercepting complex targets, particularly hypersonic blocks of future American missiles. The MiG-41, according to the developer, will be capable of performing combat missions in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, as well as in near space. The consideration of creating an unmanned variant of this aircraft is ongoing, besides the manned version. During the International Military Technical Forum Army 2017, RSCMK's CEO, Ilya Tarasenko, announced that the fighter interceptor's speed would achieve approximately Mach 4. 3. The aircraft is expected to be created with the use of new low-observable technologies and to have a very large intercept radius. Izvestia revealed on February 12, citing a source within the defense industrial complex, that Russia is presently engaged in developing an air-launched super-long-range missile intended for the Soviet MiG-31 and the developmental MiG. 41. The MiG-41 holds a complex name, a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system. The design focuses on intercepting complex targets, principally hypersonic components of prospective American missiles. There have been reports that theoretical studies on the air-to-air -air missile, featuring a detachable warhead, have already been carried out to date. They are currently finalizing the complex's specifics. This airplane has already been referred to as a sixth-generation aircraft in the West. Assuming this is accurate, let's explore the technical specifications of the sixth-generation fighter. Supreme stealth attributes with enhanced stealth technology are part of this aircraft. It excels in all flight modes, from subsonic to multiple Mach speeds. Capability to alter form. Intelligent detection. Advanced network integration capabilities and highly sensitive detection sensors. Optional manned operation. Usage of directed energy weaponry. Moreover, the fifth generation fighter must achieve shapeless supersonic speed as per requirements. In the sixth generation fighter, this requirement is even higher, minimum one. The jet can sustain Mach 5 without afterburner and reach up to Mach 4 with afterburner, nearly attaining hypersonic speed. The concept of hypersonic speed, since the 1970s usually refers to supersonic speeds with Mach numbers above 5, which in turn will allow to gain a flight altitude of 30 to 35 kilometers. Maneuvering and flying at such high speeds almost reaches the human body's endurance limit. This results in new requirements to the onboard equipment of the new fighter. Today, multifunctional LCD screens and overhead target designators are typical. The onboard electronics should supply the pilot with essential information, identify top priority targets, propose ideal means for their destruction, as well as the best strategy for maneuvering in battle. That is, the airplane must have its own intelligence to some extent. Here we come to one of the most important questions concerning the next generation of fighters. Will they be human-controlled at all? We know from open sources that the MiG-41 will be capable of performing combat missions in the harsh conditions of the Arctic, as well as in near space. Along with the manned version of this airplane, the creation of an unmanned version is also being considered. During the International Military Technical Forum Army 2017, RSKMK's General Director Ilya Tarasenko stated that the speed of the interceptor fighter is expected to hit Mach 4. 3. It is assumed that the aircraft will be created with the use of new low-observable technologies and have a very large interception radius.